Play fake. Tannehill flushed out to his right. Looking. Throwing into the end zone. Caught! Corey Davis! Touchdown! Titans! Tannehill throws. Threw it in the end zone! Fires that way. There's Brown. Brown at the five. Brown lost the ball. It's been picked up by Pruitt. Firing. Batson makes the catch. Touchdown, Titans! Yeah, they're getting loud in the Blitz Lounge. Getting loud in the Blitz Lounge. We're happy in a virtual way with COVID. Welcome, everybody, to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I am Lance Smith. This is the legend Eddie George here with us in the Blitz Lounge. They're excited. Uh, welcome, one and all. Eddie. We do have to talk about this game that happened on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, of course we do. I'm, I'm glad to see the virtual lounge. Really excited about they are, you know, yeah. all things, yeah. things, but yeah. not yeah. the loss. Yeah. Keep the hype. Yeah, keep, keep it going. Hype. Keep it going. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna break yeah. it down. All right. You good though? You good? You ready to do this? Man, I'm ready to do. I'm born to do this, man. Let's kick off the show. Uh, and with that, it is time for four downs with Eddie, sponsored by Course and Fire and Security. Uh, now, normally. In a situation like this, Eddie, we do the good, the bad, and the ugly, but we're going to do it in reverse. Yeah. So we'll start with the ugly. Yeah, let's start with the ugly. Let's get it all out there. It was ugly. It was, it was terrible. It was, it, was, it, was, it was an ugly first half. Yeah, ugly first half. Got punched in the mouth. I mean, we punched Andy in the mouth last week, and mm -hmm. we got punched in the mouth this week. And yeah. we couldn't recover from that. Perhaps maybe a little payback from what we did to them week one last year. We right. went to their house and kind of did this to them. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you know, you have these type of games, unfortunately. Turnovers, right? Fans, here, yeah. uh, but turnovers, you come out a list a little flat. Uh, all eyes on the Titans. The expectations are pretty high for them to win this game. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, thought they would win this game at home, but you know, that's the great equalizer is turnovers yeah. there. Um, you know, and, and of course with Derrick Henry, who never fumbles. And I was just telling somebody. This week, you know what? Derek has hasn't fumbled all this year. Yeah, it's he, been it's been a year. It's been it's been his year, but you'll see here gets the ball to secure it enough, and th those three plays, the turnover there, the pick, this fumble, and the missed fourth down call really set the tone. Awful call. For I, I felt like it was a bad spot all yeah, along. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, terrible. And and they didn't they didn't have a chance to review it. I mean. I don't think they can. They reviewed it, but it was it, they, they, it was you get, they didn't have a good look at it. Right. Well, and in the in the secondary too, we've had problems in the secondary. It's something that we've sort of patched together as it's the been season's gone. It has, but we hadn't seen this in a few weeks. Right. And unfortunately, and and I uh, did not think this happened. They were averaging 190 yards through the air uh, per game, and and then Baker decided. Well, we all game. thought this was going to be the battle of the running backs. Two two know, best uh, running teams in the league. Yes, Derrick Henry. Um, and, and, and Chubb, so we, that's what we thought, but they were able to do it. Kudos to, to Cleveland. Yeah. They exposed some of our weaknesses in the passing attack. Baker Mayfield had a career day. He did, he did. Yeah. All right, so that was the ugly. Yeah, get that out the way. We're done. Let's, uh, with second yes. down, let's move yes. on to the bad. Um, third down, also a problem again. Again, this is another problem that we had had, thought we had fixed, but third down was an issue on defense. They well, kept moving the ball. We take two steps forward, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one step or five steps back. Yeah. And, and that's been the, the, uh, the, the, the story of our defense here. You know, giving up big third downs, um, losing receivers in coverage, um, some, probably some miscommunication. You know, and Baker Mayfield, again, just taking advantage of those, those key mistakes with us. And, you know, it's almost like in the secondary, if you're not getting a good pass rush, you're not getting consistent, mm -hmm. um, you're not in sync together in mm -hmm. terms of the secondary, and they're going to leave holes in the secondary, and they just take advantage of that. And, you know, you, you also look at, uh, you know, our run game was pretty much shut down. I mean, uh, we put it on, on Tannehill. I mean, well, they, they, they keyed in on it. They, of course. I mean, Derek is going to get attention from this point on. I mean, they're going to clog the holes. They're going to make him do double cuts. They're going to go low at him. He's the focal point. Stop 22 at mm -hmm. all costs. Um, he only got 15 carries, and that's when he's just starting to get going. 60 yards. Mm -hmm. Not a bad day for average, but right. we know he's a volume runner. If he's getting the ball a ton, that means the Titans are in a good position. They fell behind early, 38-7. So what yeah. can you do? We took him completely out of the game. No, it's true, and had some drops in the game as well. Mm -hmm. It wasn't uh, 
Not it wasn't game. pretty on the field, but again, a lot of what we're talking about was first half problems. Yes. First half problems. Yes. Well, moving down to uh, third down, now the good. Uh, the good. Look, second half comeback. Uh, it was 38 to 7 at the half. Then we hold them to three. Hold them to three in the second half. I mean, was, we, we made a game of it. We made a fight out of it. Listen, that's, that's what you hope to carry over to this week, yeah. from last week's game. The second half, 31 points. Uh, made it close at the end. This game could have easily been 55 to, to three or seven, uh, the way they were playing in the first half, but really came out on fire, got the ball coming out of the second half, right. set the tone, scored, mm -hmm. found their confidence, found their rhythm, but a little too late for the uh, Tennessee Titans. So the good thing about this offense is that they can score or score in bunches. Yeah, no, they can't. And that was the thing, even with it sort of getting out of hand at some point, you're looking at the scoreboard, right. you're looking at the clock, you know the identity of this team this year. And I mm -hmm. wasn't freaking out, but yeah. it, then we just kept having one problem after the after other. But the other. you knew we could it. fight back and get into this thing. Yeah. And a big part of that, Corey Davis. I mean, the year Corey Davis has been having, there's a big uh, push for him on Titans Twitter online. Pay the man, give him a contract, because, I mean, he's really, really earning it this year. Oh, yeah. And contract he had a day, 182 yeah. yards. Contract year, big touchdown catch there, making big. I mean, he's been big all year long. Big yes. catch after big catch. And, and, you know, you don't really appreciate um, a guy like him because he's not as uh, explosive flashy. and flashy yeah. like A.J. Brown, yeah. but he's a consistent ball player, moving the chains, coming up with big plays. My man should get a big contract coming up this he season. He should, and, and Tannehill looked great, you know, throwing the money. Somebody's got to throw him the ball, so yeah. Tannehill had a, ended up having a good day numbers-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, fourth down, the silver lining to this thing. Hey, we're still number one in the AFC South. Yeah. We still lead this division. Still lead the division. This is a hiccup. This yeah. is, it happened, but something to learn from, and it's something to learn from without – Scars. No, no scars. I mean, it's not going to hurt you playoff-wise, but we would like to see them show up when they're expected to win. Yes. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yes. Like, in, in terms of um, uh, everybody's watching, the national media is looking at us, everybody's saying the Titans are going to win, they should win this ball game. And yes. We have yet to, you know, but it's coming. We're, it's we're not in the there. playoffs yet. Uh, playoffs also yet. part of that uh, silver lining, and we talk about no scars. Unfortunately, Adam Humphreys on IR mm, uh, due to that, uh, that concussion. But Adoree Jackson practiced today. Look at this. This is actual footage of Adoree Jackson uh, doing Adoree Jackson things on a practice field. Nice back pedal. Yes. You know, yeah, it's good to see him uh, healthy coming back. He will be a great addition for the next month or so uh, for the Tennessee Titans. Much needed addition to yes. have his playmaking ability back there. We need him. We need him. We need him. So we like that. All right. You know, uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our guy, Co Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Let's hear it. Come on, Titans. Titans. Yeah, yeah. He takes the handoff, running it left guard. Touchdown, Titans. Jeremy McNichols to pay dirt for the first time. Tannehill throws Pruitt at the five. Pruitt in the end zone. Touchdown, Titan. Michael Pruitt with a touchdown catch. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. It's halftime here on the show. And it's time now for one of my favorite segments. Uh, we put a, a local artist up to the challenge of uh, drawing a portrait of one of our mm. players and ask the players to guess who it oh, is. My favorite segment. I love, love this. We're going to play along, too, because I haven't seen this yet. So right now, here is Vague Van Gogh. Vague Check this out. Van Gogh. got a big head as a Titan player. I hope that's not me. I guess I see like a angry face. This person has a Titans headband. Got a little bit of a beard. 
Got some little nub arms and muscles here. See a headband, a little bit of facial hair, a little bit of beard. Um, this this is AJ Brown. So we're gonna say Daquan, he got a big head. Oh, there it is, the tail right there. That's Derrick Henry right there. Beautiful way they made his head look extra big on that little body, but we all know he's big everywhere. I would say this is definitely Derrick Henry. Got the headband, hair on top, teeth straight, beautiful teeth. And I am 0 for 3, that's Derrick Henry. <laughs> and I'm right. My head ain't that big, but I got it. <laughs> I love Chloe it. Chloe's spot on the big head. That's gave it away. perfect. Thank you, Chloe, for taking some uh, artistic liberties there. And, and my man, Eddie, called it. I loved it. it. He loved called it. it. He knew it right away. Good job, Chloe. Very nice. Nailed All right. It. Uh, it's time now to play another little game uh, with our from our Blitz Lounge. Let's bring in Bandit. My man, Bandit's going to play Titans Challenge with us. How you doing, Bandit? I'm so nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. Sweating You're, bullets yeah. over here. You breathe, should be Bandit. Breathe. I, you got this. I, there you go. Fire right now. <laughs> All right, man, here we go. So I'm going to give you a category. And you, in 20 seconds, you got to name as many items in that category as you can. This week, you are going up against Adoree Jackson. Can you handle it? Okay. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Let me ask yes, you something, I'm ready, Bandit. I'm ready. Do you watch cartoons? I mean, is it wrong for me to say yes? <laughs> no, actually. All right, perfect. There okay, you go. Okay. Bandit, you've got 20 seconds to name as many cartoon characters as you can. Ready? Go! Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, yeah. Daffy Duck, Goofy. Um, why do I draw a blank right now? Um, Think back to your childhood. Uh, hold on, wait. Oh, oh. Oh. I can't. I, I'm froze. Um, cartoon shows, um, characters, your childhood. Tom and Jerry! <sighs> Pluto. Pluto, uh, oh my goodness. Ding, ding, Adore. ding. I think Hold a door just snuck up behind me. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. All right, all right, you got five. We'll see I how know. he did. I look, I, I think Adoree smoked you. Adoree knows cartoons. Let's check this out. Here's Adoree wow, Jackson really with the Titans point. Challenge. Bandit, you're in trouble, buddy. I'm, I'm hey there, Nettie. SpongeBob, Powerpuff Girls, uh, Kids Next Door, That's So Raven. Uh, that would be a cartoon. Uh, Wizard of Waverly Place, uh, Cat Dog, um, I don't know if I said Ed and Eddie, Courage the Cowardly Dog, um, Doug, all that. Uh. There you go. I'm sorry. That is the Titans Challenge presented by the Tennessee and Bandit. Listen, the man's been injured. He's had a lot of time to watch cartoons. Maybe that's this is it. true. He snuck up and he took the pick. That's all that happened. That's he, all he, that he matters. showed his true form. <laughs> Bandit, thank you so much for playing. Uh, my heart Bandit, goes out I'm to you. disappointed in you, man. Hey, we I'm got a game we got to talk well, about on no the other idea. side. Don't go take far. The hell, Divisional the game coming up. The fire. Titans Bliss will be right back. Don't deserve the fire. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Serious. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. Oof. It is now the two minute warning here on the show. So we got to talk about this game coming up. Guys, we are coming off a loss. So we got to get right. We got to get back. Quick. It's a divisional game yeah. down in Jacksonville. Yeah. And so first key to victory, Eddie, I say to you, and we talk about this all the time, beware a team with nothing Oof. to lose. They've yes. got 11 straight losses and they do not care. Four out of the last five games, they lost by single digits. Yeah. This is this is a team that's 1-11, that hasn't figured it out yet how to win, but they're in every single game. So they're not going to lay down. So you got to go in there with the mentality to kick the door down right. for 60 minutes, lock the doors, and be ready to battle because this, this team is going to keep fighting. They're finding ways to score. They're finding ways to stay in games. They're being very competitive. They're not just mailing it in for a draft pick. So beware of this team because they're very dangerous. And you always talk about these divisional games. It's like throw your records out the window. Oh, yeah. These teams don't like each other. It goes way, way, way back. Especially what Derrick Henry has been doing to them the yeah. last few times. Yeah. So they, they remember that. So they're going to be ready. Uh, second key to victory here, lock up Mr. James Robinson. He is an undrafted free agent rookie mm -hmm. that is lighting it up. Uh, and it's in sneaky. Ooh, His numbers on paper 
jump out at you. And he's fast. He's quick. He's fast. He's, he's, he's powerful. Dangerous. He's running through people. He's running like an undrafted free agent. He's hungry. You know, yeah. literally, he wants he wants some success. He wants to make a mark in his league. And my gosh, I mean, he if he controls the game, it could be a problem. But I think we've got to control him, make them one dimensional, put the game in Gl yeah. Glendon's uh, hands and try to force him into some mistakes because this kid's a problem right here. Titans did an excellent job and didn't get enough credit. That defensive line of ours did an excellent job against Nick Chubb in his last game. Yeah. Held him to 80 yeah. yards and yeah. he didn't run all over us. And it wasn't crazy. Unfortunately, it was Baker Mayfield throwing yeah. the ball. But we can stop the run. Uh, and, and third key to victory uh, here, I think this is huge. Ryan Tannehill talks about it in press conferences. I don't see it enough in the first half. Right. We don't come out with a sense of urgency. We come out like surgeons almost on yeah, offense. It's, it's we, like very methodical. We've been playing from behind a lot this year with mm -hmm. the exception of uh, Indianapolis. We, got, right. we came Bill's out, game. Yeah. Bill's game, we came out, got, came on fire. Mm -hmm. and we've got to come out with that sense of urgency early. You've got to generate your own energy. Yeah. There's no fans, and that's going to be a challenge for this team because you got to draw off of something, and it's been tough to do. It can be a little draining, so they're going to have to draw up that energy, start off fast, yeah. and, and hit them in the mouth early. You know, you talk about the Colts, and uh, the first meeting we have with the Colts, that's the one thing I noticed was them. is They played with such urgency all throughout the game. Mm -hmm. They were quick. They were fiery. Uh, we did that to them the second game. You're right. And it was this yeah. back and forth, and we were on fire, so we, we've got to do that. What do you tell your team? How do you do that as a team oh. to, to get going early? You, you make it a point of emphasis. Okay. You know, maybe it's you're changing up your routine, in, in the, like your warm-up routine. Okay. Maybe you're coming out um, a little bit more in tune, not so lackadaisical, drawing your own energy. Shift up, change up something in terms of your pregame routine mm -hmm. so you can come out ready to play and have that sense of urgency and keep that sustainable throughout the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. well, that's what I want to see. see. That's the game plan, guys. There we go. All right, we're going to talk about the state of things on the other side. We're in the driver's seat, and we'll show you just how it's all laid out. So stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Titan man there in the Blitz Lounge. Everybody's excited there. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance Smith, Eddie George back with you over time here on the show. So let's talk about it. We've got this big game coming up, divisional game. We're in the driver's mm -hmm. seat currently. Pump up the brakes. Yeah, we're yeah, number we're, one we're right now the in the division. We're good. Yep. Uh, so let's take a look at where things stand currently, okay. uh, sort of in our division, in the AFC. Let's take a look at right now. We'll throw it up on the board. So here we go. Right now, obviously, the Steelers – so far, technically have that by uh, Kansas City clinched. That's why they have the mark there. But there we go. So technically, if if the playoffs started today, do you know that the Browns would come here mm. for that wild card weekend? Wow, be something, right? That would be that would definitely be incredible. I mean, the great matchup. Uh, so there we, they huh? really didn't really didn't have a setback. So I right. mean, they lost the game. I'm all about some revenge games. I am too. All right, let's take a look at uh, the rest of the games, though, on our schedule. Also, the Colts as well. See, there we go. All right, so we've got the Jaguars obviously coming up. Lions, very winnable game. At Packers Sunday night, it's going to be a tough one, but I, you know, we can shine. Texans, nothing to play for, but a divisional game there. Colts have, I think, a tougher schedule. That Raiders is no gimme. No. Uh, Steelers. It's like, I, I mean, in other words, I really, I like our... I like our, our I really like our chances, uh, but again, the Jaguars are a dangerous team, and the, I don't like a team that's one and eleven that's that's losing by just two points. I mean, right. they're going to play, so don't be deceived by that. But I, I really like our chances better to finish out winnable games for sure. The 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 uh, the chart we just looked at the teams and the records and whatnot. Do you prefer if you're a head coach? Do you prefer your players not to not to even look at that? Oh, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't look at it. Just take it one game at a time and treat every game as if it is a playoff game. Right. You do that, take care of business, beat the teams you're supposed to beat, and, and you'll find yourself playing for a Lombardi Trophy. We talk about this a lot, and, and, and we, we say this phrase, the playoffs start now. We said this a few weeks back, talking mm -hmm. about playing the, you know, the Colts or playing the Ravens. Right. And it's, but it's, with four games left, this is playoffs for this the is playoffs. It. This, this is it. It's all about it? position. This is moving day. I mean, you know how in golf you have moving yeah. day? This is definitely the moving period for teams vying for those playoff spots, trying to lock up the division, trying to lock up your playoff, uh, wild card playoff. And yeah. now 
you know, uh, things are shaping up beautifully. We got to take care of business now. This is where the rubber meets the road, my friend. You heard the man said, the legend said it himself. Uh, look, this game, this last game, it's in the past. It's history. This game right here is all that matters right now. Blitz Lounge, thank you for being with us. All Titans fans everywhere, we love you. Charlie Troop, love you, sir. Tighten up, y'all.